So the basic structure of the atom has the neutrons and protons in the nucleus in the center and the electrons on the outside. So the neutrons are neutral, the protons are positive and the electrons are negative. And the nucleons, which is the neutron and the proton have a weight of one, which is an atomic mass unit. And the electrons are one in 2000, which is not of no significant mass. So also with the electrons on the outside, we'll give them principal energy levels, and that will be uh, 2, 8, and uh, 18, but we'll use 8 uh, in order to do uh, Lewis diagrams, etc. later, and to make it useful. Now using symbols, we have the element here, just a random element is x. The larger number is always going to be the mass number, which is unfortunately is an A and not an M. And the smaller number, which is a Z, is the proton number. Often the, the proton number is at the front here and the mass number is at the bottom. So this is always the big number. So it's always much, much greater than the Z. So the atomic number is the number of protons that determines what element it is. And that always remains the same. So if it's carbon, it's always six and the mass number is the number of neutrons the number of neutrons can vary and you'll see in a, another video that'll mean it's an isotope so it could be a carbon 12 or it could be a carbon 14 uh, that means there's always six protons because that means it's carbon and there are different numbers of neutrons so you minus the mass number from the atomic number uh, and so that's 12 minus 6 and for this one here you'll actually have uh, six neutrons and for this one here uh, 14 minus the atomic number which is 6 you'll have 8 neutrons and so let's go to one a problem here then uh, so I calculate number of protons and neutrons and we may as well do electrons as well for chlorine so 17 is the number of protons which is also the number of electrons that is that's the atomic number so always chlorine is always 17 if it's not 17 it's not chlorine uh, so we've got 17 as the number of protons and so then we just take 35 the mass number minus the atomic number and we have 17 minus uh, 35 minus 17 and that gives us 18 neutrons